Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Just Carve Rob. We got our, uh, our owl we're going to paint. And uh, he's going to be gray. He's going to be a gray owl. A little bit chilly out here th to this uh, afternoon. So, had to light the fire first. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the, between me and Jordy, you know he's got that pole thing going on right now for uh, whether he carved the better monster or I carved the better monsters. Well, I did monsters, he did a monster. You know how that is. He did a wall hanger and I did a three or four 3D ones, you know. Uh, ben, over there at Studio on the Lake, if you haven't seen his videos, go over and uh, check them out. Maybe subscribe to them. Nice guy. Funny guy. Well, um, he heard the deal going on between me and Gordy, Jordy there, and, uh, you know, Jordy over at Carbon Fusion. So, uh, Jordy said that if he wins the challenge, he was going to have me carve a fish with a wood spirit head. So Ben, over at Studio on the Lake, uh, wanted to see if it could be done. And Ben, Ben must have a gross amount of basswood over there. Uh, I don't know where he's at. I believe he's in the United States, but I don't know where in the United States. And uh, so he got this big chunk of basswood and carved a wood spirit fish. Okay. It is funny as all get out. And he named the fish Jordy. Little round Jordy fish. <laughs> so uh, that has sent Jordy over the edge. Jordy took it as a personal challenge, a personal challenge from Ben. So uh, our buddy Jordy is now searching through his wood pile to uh, carve something in response to uh, Ben over at Studio on the Lake. So yeah, go check out Ben's channel. He does a lot of he does a lot of cool carvings, and uh, yeah, so go check out Ben Studio on the Lake. That's his channel. Seems like a pretty funny guy to me. <laughs> Wood spirit fish, that is funny. And then he named it Jordy. <laughs> Poor Jordy. Can never catch a break. Right? He catches all the breaks. But hey, we love Jordy. So go check him out, guys. Studio on the lake. Guy's name is Ben. He does a lot of cool stuff. I've seen him make uh some leather cutting knives for a buddy of his. Uh, I've seen him carving some owls and some wood spirits. And he carves all kinds of stuff over there. So, uh, yeah, do yourself a favor and go check him out. Studio on the Lake. And today... We'll be getting into some carving here a little bit later, but today, for right now, um, I promised you guys a painting video on an owl. This is going to be a gray owl. 
Yeah, we might as well do them both gray owls, right? They're both the same kind of owl. They're both horned horned owls, barn owls. I, I looked at some pictures, and there's brown barn owls, or horned owls, like this guy. There's brown ones, and there's gray ones. Man, I have got to got to move my camera or something. I'm, I'm out of getting out of range here. Okay. So this is our first coat on this guy, all right? We have to add some light gray and some white into his feathers. This is our first coat on him, okay? Now we're gonna get our little guy here because our wood is brown uh, that our wood spirit's on. I think we want to make this guy gray so he kind of pops out from the wood. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Uh, we'll see how that works out. So no noisy, no noisy uh, carving tools in this one, guys. I lost my stick. I got a stick that I put a screw in so that I can uh, paint these guys without getting paint all over my fingers. And apparently I have misplaced my stick. Doggone it. All right. Well, I guess we will have to go to... Let's see if this wood is soft enough. To get... This is a bamboo skewer. You know, like you make your... Uh, what do you call them things? You put over the fire. Shish kebabs. There you go. Like you put your shish kebabs on. You guys are still not back far enough. Okay. Well, as long as I don't go beyond the paint tray. As long as I keep them in this blue square here, we should be all right. All right. Let's get to it. We'll paint him. We'll paint him gray, too. Aw. This must be the baby owl, and that must be the... Mama or Papa Al. What do you guys think about that? I actually like the way this little owl came out better than the big owl. Well, I don't know. You know, everything changes once you start painting these guys. And uh, with paint on, he's not looking bad over there. I think he's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I caught, uh, Jordy texted me last night and goes, Hey, have you seen, uh, Studio on the Lakes newest video? And I'm like, no, I've been busy, pretty busy today, bud. And Jordy's like, go check out that video. So I'm like, okay. So I checked it out and I laughed and laughed and laughed. It was so funny. And, uh, hey, Ben, thanks for the shout-out, buddy. Over there at Studio on the Lake. Yep. Ben's a, Ben's a really good carver. Uh, Ben uses those micro motors, too, guys. He's got a couple of them that he likes to use. So, uh, I have never had a, uh, electric micro motor. The closest thing I came was that stupid, uh, ah, uh, what is it, Dremel Stylo thing. And, uh, that's the closest I've ever come to a micromotor. It spins at 22,000 RPMs. But, uh, Ben and Jordy, they've got the better ones. They've actually got real micromotors. Uh, I think Jordy, Jordy said his spins at 40, I'm pretty sure it was 45,000 RPMs. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jordy, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he said it was 45,000 RPMs. I'm pretty sure. And uh, Ben's, I think he said his is, spins at like 40, 40,000. So they've got the Dremel beat because the Dremel only spins at like 30, 35,000, I think. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 
So uh, yet, if you like the, if you want to learn, learn something about those micro motors, Ben talks about them in his last video, and he's he was using them in that video to uh, carve the Jordy Wood Spirit fish, little round fat fish that he carved. Well, it's not little; it's it looked like it was about that big. So I'm gonna say maybe 16 inches long. I'm I'm guessing, but that's what I'm guessing. About 16 inches long. Um. And it's a fish with a wood spirit head. And it is funny. And he talks a little bit about his micro motors. So if you're if you're interested in the micro motor thing, uh, Ben and Jordy would be the two guys to talk about, talk to about them. I do not have a micro motor uh, electric. I do have, and uh, anybody that's been following this channel knows that I have this, which is air operated, and I've got a big compressor out in my garage. It really doesn't need that much air, but I always keep that big compressor charged anyway, and it's got a bunch of dryers on it. So this is a SCM high speed air tool. It spins at like 400,000 RPMs. That's right, I said it, 400,000 RPMs. And it's like drawing with a pencil when you're carving with this thing, guys, okay? So I have this, um, it's, I use this a lot, especially for the fine detail on my, my stuff. Or if I'm engraving uh, coins or little plaques or something, this is what I use because it's like using a pencil. Even when you're engraving into, a, like it's great for eggshells, it's great for ostrich eggs, it's great for a bone. So that's what I use a lot right there. And then, but I do have, this guy here which is a low speed but it's still air operated okay um not quite sure the rpms on it it's got to be up there around 40 30 or 40 thousand though okay this uh this only uses the 330 second bits where Jordy's will use uh the 330 seconds or the eighth inch i don't know maybe i can get a collet for this that will accept eighth inch Okay, and uh, it's the same thing. Quarter turn, locks the bit in like that. Quarter turn, and it's locked. So it's basically the same thing except this part. See, this comes apart. This is the motor that drives it. This is air motor, but the electric motor will work too. All right. Hang on. Okay, guys. Just got a phone call from the wife. Had to stop filming and answer it. They're building a garage next door. Um, at my neighbor's house. And uh, the shop inspector wants them to know that she's here. And to stay over there. So, she's letting them know. She's telling them all about it. You can hear her out there barking. Oh, sure, Rob. Why don't you just do everything out of focus or out of the film, out of the, out of the range of your camera, and then nobody can see what you're doing. And then at the end, it'll be a surprise, right? Well, I don't think they want surprises. I think they want to see what you're doing. So basically, we just painted these two guys gray. Okay. We got our big Al, he's painted gray, and we got our little Al, and he's painted gray. Hoot, 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 shut up. Oh, they won't be quiet, these stupid owls. So, um, we're going to have to let them dry for a little bit. Yep. Otherwise, we'll be getting gray in our brown and brown in our gray. So, we got to let this guy... Got to let this guy dry up a little bit so we can go ahead and paint him. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to come back. Um, we're right now we painted him with, it's called pewter gray. Okay. So we're going to come back with granite gray. 
granite gray. And we will do a technique called dry brushing. It's where you put your, um, take your paint and you just dip the tip of your brush in it. And then you uh, wipe most of the paint off of it, right? And then you quick and light, very lightly. And what it does is it catches the tips. It should catch all the tips with that lighter gray color. And then uh, we'll do the tips of his horns. And uh, same thing with that lighter granite gray. And then uh, we'll have to dry brush just the tips around his eyes here uh, with the, the granite gray. And then we'll get in there and we will paint his eyes. Do, 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 do. We paint his eyes with this sunny yellow color. And then we'll put our big black pupils in there. Ooh, I better, better shake this up. It sounds pretty thick. Okay? So uh, let me let these guys dry off for a little bit. And we'll be right back. Okay? Here we go. Hang on. Okay, guys. It looks like he's dry enough to uh, move on to the next stage here of painting this owl. Let's get our paint tray over here. Right there. Get some of this... Uh, some of this granite gray. Put it, put it in our little cup thing there. All right. Let's see if we can get this. I want to. We have to water this down a little bit. I don't know, that looks okay. Yeah, I think we're going to put a little water in it. Seems to be a little bit thick. Okay, let's try that. That looks good.
It's looking pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, hope everybody's fine out there. Everybody's doing good, staying healthy. Try to stay home, stay safe, stay out of them crazy stores. It's okay if you uh, get a little too much around his eyes. You can always go back over it with the darker gray. Go back and get it all touched up. Something like that, I guess. You can paint your owl any color you want. It's your owl. Okay, I think that's a that's pretty much. I don't know if I like that. But we can always go back with the gray, the darker gray. I like this. This is all right. Uh, I think we might have to go back with the darker gray. And we can just give them some uh, light brushing, some dry brushing here. Across his backside. A little more up here on his shoulder. Let's give him some of that light gray in his head. Maybe a little bit more there. This is all dry brushing, guys. I don't know how good it's going to show up, but that's what we're doing. Whoop, there goes my paintbrush. That's what we're doing here. Just doing some uh, doing a little dry brushing. Just getting some color, different colors in the mix here. Like, uh, don't forget, you can dry brush the other way too. If you get too much of uh, the light gray or light brown, however you're going to paint your owl, you can always come back and dry brush the darker gray back over it. All right, guys, so we're we're uh, dry brushing the owl. We're getting them all done. Uh, don't forget, if you get too much, too much of your, uh, I guess, highlight color, which for me is the light gray, if you get a little too much on there, you can always go back over it with the darker gray. You can dry brush it the other way, too.
and that's what I'm doing there. I got a little too much gray. Put a little water in there, about one drop of water, one drop of paint, eh, about eight drops of water is usually right where I'm at. You know, it's it's not written in stone that it's got to be eight drops of water. But yeah, so I don't like the uh, too much gray on the eye ridges, I guess you'd call them. Eyebrows? Nah, I don't know if you call them eyebrows. But, so, just going to touch it up a little bit with the gray. Get rid of some of that uh, light gray. And then we're, uh, we're going to come back and do some other stuff to them, too. So that's about it for this one, guys. Share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, carve every day if you can, guys. And we will be catching you on the next one. So, take care, stay healthy, bye.